Hello everybody, good morning. Uh, we are here in Bolivia at the Grand Mojos Protecti area. We are together with the team here with Luis, with um, everybody at the, at the Grand Mojos Protecti area. And I'm just trying to see how I can, yeah, here it is. I can change the camera. And we're just, uh, having a conversation, a meeting about the residues of the Grand Mojos Protecti area related with the conservation of the Blue Throat of Moco. Uh, I'm here with uh, Jorge, who is a forest ranger. He's, he has a lot of things to show you. We have uh, Luis, uh, who is uh, the director of the Protecti area. We're going to talk also about education, environmental education activities. They're going to present themselves. And um, yeah, hello Monica from Barcelona. Very nice to, very nice to to see you are here. And um, I I remember you. You are being long term supporter of of our actions and especially the Grand Mojos Protect area activities. So yeah, let's let's start. Uh, uh, Luis has lots of things to tell you about. Uh, there are very important uh, steps being being done uh, down here. So Luis, uh, they're gonna talk in Spanish. I'm gonna translate them. But yeah, hopefully uh, they, uh, they are going to provide a lot of information. Gracias, mi nombre es Luis Alberto Suárez Reinaldo. Eh, soy el director del área protegida municipal Gran Mojo. Hoy este, vamos a hablar un poco de las actividades que recientemente hemos venido realizando en, dentro del área protegida municipal Gran Mojo. So he's, he's uh, the director of the protected area, uh, Luis Suárez. Uh, he's, uh, he's going to talk today about the specific actions they are going to, they're being uh, taking the lead for the conservation of the Blue Throat of Moco. Hello, Andrea Mercier. Hello, Mats Ackerman from Sweden. Thank you to be here on this live video. Hace días atrás, este, eh, todo el equipo de, de el área protegida realizamos un recorrido en diferentes eh, propiedades ¿no? que, que forman parte del área protegida y en la cual realizamos eh, diferentes actividades ¿no? en el campo. So days, days ago, it was started the different activities, monitoring activities, uh, led by the by the Team Grand Mojos Protect Area Team with support of Para Conservation Bolivia. They did the first census of the Blue Throat of Moco uh, ever at the Grand Mojos Protect area. They could find 39, 39 different individuals on the census. So from those 39 birds that they found out, they also tried to identify uh, the behavior of the birds and try to identify potential breeding pairs for the next breeding season. And they could find three breeding, three breeding uh, pairs that at this moment they only have breeding behavior, but uh, in the future they expect they, they are going to have nests. So thank you, Andrea. Now I know you come from Long Island, New York. Uh, uh, thank you also for, for all your support and all your interest to know about the work Grand Mocus is doing. Hello, Eric Montgomery also. Uh, thank you for following us. It's important to mention that these three pairs with natural reproductive behavior were in naturales, eh, en palmeras totaí, que le llamamos comúnmente nosotros acá en el lugar, y que este, es importante resaltarlo, ¿no? que este, la parada en sí utiliza los nidos naturales que existen dentro de, 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 de su medio que ellas habitan, ¿no? Ok, so something that Luis want to recall you and make sure you understand is that those three breeding pairs that they only found at this moment with breeding, be with breeding behavior, they don't have eggs or chicks already, but those pairs are working natural cavities. So one of the works that the Grand Mocos Protect area does, the team, is to install next boxes up. So the, the pairs, the breeding pairs, they have access to extra cavities where they can breed. But they found the three pairs working on natural cavities, which is very important because the Grand Mocos Protect area is demonstrating that the work it's helping to support 
the conservation of those natural cavities that are critically important for the conservation of the blue through the Moscow. Um, Luis, uh, ¿quieres que mostremos alguna foto de las cavidades? Um, I, ju I just ask him if we want now to show some pictures. Jorge, the forest ranger, he wants to show you some pictures about the, the cavities where the birds are, are trying to develop the nest. So, uh, Jorge, um, can you, uh, ¿nos puede mostrar alguna foto? He's going to show us some pictures that they took during the monitoring activities. Esta es una foto tomada en, en la estancia Normandía. So this picture is being taken at the Normandia cattle ranch, which is inside the Grand Mocos protected area. You can see blue through the Mocos. Um, ¿Podemos ir a la foto anterior? We can go, now this picture, you can see this pair, one of them coming out the cavity. That's on a palm, natural palm. And you can see the other one from the pair uh, perched. You know, that uh, it's, uh, it's, a, it's clearly a pair searching for a cavity to breathe. Uh, that's, this is another individual. Esta foto. Esta foto también es tomada en la estancia Normandía, propiedad del señor Elías Vaca. This picture is being taken also in Normandía at the ranch, one of the ranches that they visited. This is the team. Eh, la, la siguiente foto. You can see the team. Grand Mocos Protected Area team. Also the, also the, can you show the next picture? This one. Um, you can see the, the team of the Grand Mocos taking the lead, but also uh, uh, colleagues from Parrot Conservation Bolivia are joining the, the group uh, to, make, uh, to make all the, all the trip, all the monitoring trip. ¿Cuántos días estuvieron en, en campo haciendo el censo y el monitoreo? So the, the first uh, activity was done in four days. Uh, ¿Y cuántos cubrieron? Que... Eh, hemos logrado cubrir este... Eh... Siete propiedades, siete propiedades ganaderas y aproximadamente unas 10.000 hectáreas en, en, en todas las propiedades. Este, tenemos programado también este, seguir haciendo esta actividad, este trabajo, en otras propiedades en donde eh, eh, tenemos conocimiento nosotros como, como área protegida de que sí existe la palabra barba azul y vamos a ingresar eh, en los próximos días a, para hacer este trabajo. Nos, nos restan aproximadamente seis propiedades por trabajar y aproximadamente también unas 10.000 hectáreas más que, que podríamos cubrir, ¿no? Okay, so something that Luis is trying to tell you, it's, it's extra information for you to understand the dimension of the work they do. Uh, they cover, in four days, they covered almost 10,000 hectares by motorbikes uh, on six different properties. They have an extra six or seven properties to do census. They are going to do it in the next, in the next weeks but to finish the first census for the blue through the Moco inside the Grand Mocos protected area. That's going to be very important because this census is going to provide critical information for them to have, uh, you know, already information to monitoring the future of the blue through the Moco population. Remember that Grand Mocos protected area is the most important protected area for the conservation of blue through the Moco in the, on the, in the entire world. It protects the biggest concentration of breeding birds, breeding birds, on, on the entire wild population. And that's very important because they are being, they are taking the lead to, to monitor and to conserve, to conserve the biggest breeding population, which is the most important population if you want to save the, the bird from extinction. Um, uh, ¿Qué más? Uh, Luis tiene importante. Sí, He's going to continue telling us about what they did. Sí, este, es importante también mencionar de que eh, nosotros como área protegida estamos eh, alerta ¿no? en lo que puede ser el tema de los incendios. Sabemos que en otros lugares están pasando por, por situaciones críticas ¿no? por el tema de los incendios, pero actualmente nosotros, gracias a Dios, eh, en, nuestra, en nuestra área protegida tenemos algunos focos de, de calor, ¿no? pero este, que, no, que todavía no está afectando eh, los lugares donde se encuentra la parada, donde vive la parada, donde se reproduce la parada, en, en sí su hábitat ¿no? de, de la parada todavía no ha sido afectado, pero nosotros de igual manera estamos atentos a cualquier situación para poder actuar. ¿no? 
So something that he wants also to tell you, you know, you're here listening that Bolivia has a lot of issues with fires going on at this moment. He just want to tell you that during the monitoring that they did, they didn't find any evidence of fires affecting directly breeding areas or non-breeding areas that are important for the blue throat of Moco. But that doesn't mean that the, there is no a necessity of taking care and, and, and you know, uh, taking consideration the fact that uh, we are still in, rich, in risk and the probability for a fire to happen, it's, it's real. So they are still, they are still searching and, and trying to have, uh, you know, some level of, of understanding about what is going on. But something that they definitely need is support in the future for, to be able to fight against fires. Eh, una cosa que importante, ¿no? Que el hecho de que eh, el área protegida necesita equipamientos para, para en un eventual eh, fuego poder luchar contra, contra ello, ¿no? Sí, eh, eh, evidentemente eh, nosotros como, como área protegida necesitamos equipamiento eh, especializado y personal también especializado para eh, en caso de algún incendio poder eh, combatirlo ¿no? pues, y tratar de, 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 de apagar para que no nos ocasione daño eh, tanto a, para la especie como es la parábola azul como para todas las especies y todos los animales, tanto flora y fauna que existe dentro del área protegida. Yeah, that is, it's very important, you know, that the fires, the, one of the ways to fight against them is by, by having trained uh, uh, people and also equipment. And that's something very important that with the campaign for the conservation of the, of the, um, of the mocos that it's going on at this moment in Bolivia, um, one of the things that we are going to provide for the Grand Mocos Protected Area, it's extra support for them to be able to fight against those fires, especially when they affect uh, either communities where, where people's life is it's, it's in, in threat, and also uh, on places where we have critical areas, especially breeding areas for the blue throat mocos, that uh, they, need to be, they need to be safe. Algo más, Luis? Uh, something else that maybe Luis want to tell us before we continue? Sí, este, no sé, tenemos programado también eh, realizar un, un este, festi festival de la parada. Lo tenemos programado para el, para el mes de, de octubre. Eh, esperamos este, con esta actividad no, este, tratar más de concientizar a la gente, a, eh, hablar sobre el trabajo que nosotros venimos realizando. Este, that's important. They they still they still consider to develop this year the first festival for the Blue Through the Moco. And that's very important because it's gonna it's gonna help locals to understand what they're doing as an institution for the conservation of the Moco, but it's also gonna help to bring income to the community, to Loreto community, because they're gonna come tourists, they're gonna eat, they're gonna sleep here, and that's gonna generate incomes. And at the end, incomes are critically important for, to, to, for people to understand conservation, you know, and, and th that's something they really understand, and it's very important that they keep thinking about to develop this first Blue Through the Moco Festival that hopefully in the next years, uh, com uh, coming years, is going to be something very popular. People are going to be able to see the Blue Through the Moco in the wild, and they're going to pay the ta taxes to access the protected area, and, you know, incomes are going to move, and that's, that's exactly what, you, what they're searching for. So now, uh, Jorge, uh, ¿quiere mostrarnos más fotos de del monitoreo? Sí. So Jorge has extra pictures that I didn't give him time to, to show us. Uh, if we want to see them. So that's the pair that was working, the cavity. Es una foto de la estancia Tres Estrellas, propiedad de Don René Melgar. That's Tres Estrellas, uh, Cater Ranch, a property from René Melgar. Uh, he's a very important supporter of all the work that Grand Mocos is doing. He's pushing very hard for the protected area to be settled and, and also for the conservation of the Mocon. That's very important. ¿Qué más, Jorge? This is going to show us just the pictures of the pairs working the cavity. Es un par de, de, de parada barba azul que están en, en comportamiento reproductivo. Yeah, un, a pair with breeding behavior. It's not breeding yet, doesn't have extra chicks, but it's, it's there. Uh, you can see two of them. You can see the pair at the top of the, of the palm. This is a totai palm. Look at this, blue through the moco, taking a motaku nut. One of the most important food for them. 
como podemos ver, eh, tenemos una barba azul alimentándose de, del fruto de, del motacú. Ya, que todo you that's a lucha de moco eating a motacú, a motacú nut. Great, good job. Those pictures were taken either by Jorge, who lo love take pictures, also by other people, by some biologists. Uh, thanks also to Gabriela and Pedro that were here until yesterday. They are supporting very heavily the development of the Grand Mojos Protect the Area. They provide great pictures to them, and that's that's very powerful because this way Grand Mojos Protect the Area team, they can show you guys what they are doing. You can see the pear, another pear, perched on a tree. Thank you, Eric Montgomery. We're gonna ask you, we're gonna reply to your question. His question is, what, what kind of nuts does the blue sort of eat? Uh, let's, let's ask the Grand Mocos team, they can tell us. Uh, Jorge, Eric Montgomery nos pregunta qué tipo de nuece, qué tipo de fruto come la paraba barba azul. La paraba barba azul se alimenta de, del fruto de, del motacú, eh, del totaí y también de, del fruto del sujo. Okay, so he, he basically saying he, on his observations, he found out that the blue throat moco eats nuts from motaku, which is the nut that you saw the picture, nuts from totai, which is the palm that they also use as a cavity to breed. Uh, they both use motaku trees, motaku palms and totai palms like a breeding, like breeding cavities. This is a motaku nut. You can see how the bird is collecting the motaku from a motaku tree, motaku palm and it's gonna fly somewhere else to, to eat it. And also they eat suho fruits. Suho is a tree that uh, also provides very important cavities for the blue suho moko, and during the dry season, it provides fruits for the, for the birds. Thank you, Jorge. Thank you, Eric, for your question. It's, uh, it's great that uh, the people here, the Grand Mocos Petiteria team, they, they can answer your questions directly because I, like I told you, Every day, every time we, I, we connect, it's very important for you guys to realize that they are the people who are taking the lead to making this to happen. And that's something that we are very proud to be supporting them and being for them to be the real heroes of this, of this story. Eh, Jorge, ¿algo más puede contarle a los, a los compañeros? Eh, nada, no sin antes este, agradecer ¿no? todo el apoyo que se viene dando para el área protegida municipal Gran Mojo. Eh, nosotros estamos trabajando duro en lo que es el tema de, de la conservación de la parada de azul. Sabemos que actualmente está en peligro crítico de extinción, por lo tanto este, agradecemos ¿no? el apoyo, el interés que hay de, 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 de instituciones, de personas que nos vienen apoyando. Y al mismo tiempo también pedimos que nos sigan apoyando, que nos sigan colaborando para que nosotros realicemos el trabajo de conservación que tanto lo necesita nuestra, esta especie para que salga de esta situación en la que se encuentra. So, yeah, that's very important. Thank you, Luis. Uh, he just, you know, in resume, he wants to tell you guys thank you for, for you know, all the support the Grand Mojos Potetia are receiving. Uh, but Grand Mojos is being developed uh, deeply by the support of institutions like Indianapolis Zoo. This facility where we are located, you can see around, you know, it's very simple, it's very rustic, but that was thanks to Indianapolis Zoo and to the World Parrot Trust. So, uh, because there is a support from institutions, there is support from private donors like you guys, that's why this protected area is possible to be developed. Locals are possible to be contracted and the conservation of the blue sort of moco is a reality by them making the difference for, for, the, for the species. So, you know, they, like every, every organization, they keep needing support because uh, there's no way to continue doing the work they do if they don't have support. So he just thank you, uh, saying thank you to all of you, but also, you know, making sure that you understand that, you know, they, they, they want to keep growing, they want to keep developing the protected area, and if it's possible, they will definitely will be so happy receiving your support to continue. So now let's talk about education. We have something to say about education. ¿Te puedes presentar, por favor, y contarnos un poco sobre el trabajo de educación que están realizando? Gracias. Mi nombre es Mariana Bazán Migri, estoy encargada de educación ambiental en esta oportunidad este, hemos estado trabajando acá en el área protegida en lo que es educación ambiental 
como es en la capacitación de los estudiantes en las diferentes comunidades que están dentro de, del área protegida. So, Maria Ina, she's the responsible of environmental education activities. She, her, she's been supported by Indianapolis Zoo, which is, I, I, I want to say thank you to Michelle and all the, all the team at Indianapolis Zoo. They're definitely making the difference for the conservation of the Blue Through the Moco and the development of this protected area. Maria Ina, uh, she's visiting different, different communities all over the protected area, and she's also doing some training, you know, and some, some uh, creating capacities on those students and the teachers for different, different environmental education activities, not only the Blue Through the Moco, also other species. Remember, Grand Moco's protected area is a very important protected area, not only for the Blue Through the Moco, it's also protect uh, endangered animals, endangered wildlife, and that's, that's something that uh, it's also important to remember because uh, they, they not only work for the Blue Tutu Moko, they also protect wildlife as like the jaguar, main wolf, uh, pink river dolphin, giant turtles, and tapirs, and lots of incredible cool animals. Hemos estado trabajando en las comunidades que están acá dentro del área protegida, como es en la comunidad de Camiaco, Loreto y Sachujere. They made, they, she focused mainly on three communities, which are the biggest communities at the, inside the Grand Mocos Protected Area. Este, en las diferentes, en las diferentes unidades educativas hemos estado este, capacitando a los estudiantes. Hemos llegado más o menos en estas tres comunidades a 346 alumnos. They all, all, almost reached 350 students on the three communities primary school students. They also did uh, environmental education activities with the, with the adults of the community as well. In general, you know, issues about protected area and, and conservation for the adult people. También otro tema importante que hemos estado hablando de es como el manejo de la basura y también como tenencia y tráfico de animales silvestres. They are also very, very uh, taking in consideration the management of garbage at the protected area. This is a very important issue. You know, people need to understand that the garbage needs to go to the right place. And also they, they, they did a lot of... Uh, 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 they put a lot of time on, on talking about uh, wildlife trade in general. You know, the wildlife trade affects parrots, but also affects all the animals. And that's, that's also something that they are putting like a, you know, like a very important uh, theme to talk about. Yeah. Bueno, uh, so yeah. So, uh, do you have, tiene algo más que decir? Algo que quiere decirlo? She just uh, tell, tell us what you're doing, and if the, I just ask her if she wants to tell you something, you know. So she, she wants to tell you thank you for all the support you are receiving and as well, you know, asking for extra support, extra, uh, you know, for the future. You know, they, they really want, they really continue making this uh, process uh, to, to set up the, uh, properly the protected area and for the conservation of the Blue Through the Moco. And yeah, I completely agree with that. You know, that this, these people, they, they need support. We need to uh, keep supporting them to make to make this a reality because what is happening here we at the Grand Mocos Protected Area is definitely, is definitely something, something special. So, yeah, we just uh, are here in Loreto, the Grand Mocos Protected Area. This is the capital of the Marban province, which, which is where the Grand Mocos Protected Area is, is located in Loreto village. And yeah, I just wanted to share, to share with you uh, this, you know, meeting that we had. Uh, uh, we are now, like you know, we are running a campaign thanks to the World Park Trust and Natural Encounters Conservation Fund. This campaign is being critical for the future, not only of the Blue Through the Moco, also for Restaurant Mocos and Hayasi Mocos. Hayasi Mocos are being heavily affected this year by the fires. We, at this moment, we don't really know 
the impact that those fires are going to have on the, especially in the breeding grounds of Hyacinthus coast, which is the most important sites for the conservation of the species. We will know that very soon. Johnny and all the all the team. It's now at the San Matias protected area, helping the San Matias team to stop the fires somehow, most of them are completely uncontrolled. There's absolutely no way to stop them. We need rain. We definitely need rain to stop this nightmare that we are suffering. But uh, we will see, we will definitely see where, uh, which is the impact that the Hyacinth Mokos are suffering from fires, hopefully not very uh, deeply on the breeding grounds, but, um, uh, depend on the results that we have, we definitely need to check how we can make this to not to happen anymore, uh, especially affecting those breeding grounds on Moko species. So Andrea Mercier, I'm sorry, but I may have missed it. Where exactly is this? We are located in Bolivia. We are located in Bernie Department, which is the department where the Blue Throat Moko lives. It's endemic from this area of the country. And inside Benny Department, we are at the Grand Mojos Protecti Area, which is a protecti area created by Loreto Village three years ago. And now, thanks to different organizations and donors, we have the possibility to be supporting a group of local people from Loreto Village who runs the Grand Mojos Protecti Area, including the director, the, the forest rangers, and the environmental education uh, team. So Maria is from education, uh, Luis is the director, and Jorge is one of the, one of the um, forest rangers that work at the, at the protected area, and he's great, very good doing monitoring, and actually also guiding some tourists, some big companies like Manitours, like uh, field guides, like uh, what other one came recently? There was a, a group from Audubon Society from Panama who also came. Local companies like uh, Moxos Turismo, they also come here to see the Blue Turtle Mocco on different properties. Uh, Steve Brooks from Wild Parrots up close. We're we are coming very soon to here to see the Blue Turtle Mocco and to enjoy also uh, the work that the people the people is doing. So, like I was telling you, this campaign is being critical for, for Mocos in general, but also for the Grand Mocos Protected Area. A very important portion of the funding that we are getting, it's gonna go to support the Grand Mocos Protected Area. And uh, the campaign is gonna be running until the 15th of October. So we have more than a month uh, to until its end. Um, Thanks to Natural and Contest Conservation Fund, the fund is going to be matched until $30,000. So thanks, Steve Martin. Thanks, everybody at the Natural and Contest Conservation Fund. You're definitely making the difference by matching every single dollar that is going to be donated to the campaign. Um, and the campaign is, is being a success. I just want to tell you, uh, in representation of everybody down here at the Pirate Conservation Bolivia, also uh, from our local partners, not only Grand Mojos, we work with a huge network of local institutions all over Bolivia where the three species we work with are located. I want to tell you deeply thank you. Uh, you're demonstrating a great concern about the conservation of these three species, which is our concern at the end, and we are so proud to have your support. So thanks to everybody, to every institution who donated to the campaign that is being run. Uh, you want to know more about the campaign, please go to www.pyro.org um, uh, slash Bolivia, and you will know much more about the campaign. Please feel free to uh, ask me any questions you want to ask. Uh, you can also find me on Facebook, uh, like Jose Antonio Diaz. I'm more than happy to talk personally with you and answer absolutely any questions you can have about the work that we are supporting and the work that the, the guys uh, at the Grand Mojos and different protectors are, are doing. Um, yeah, we're just going to have a coffee now. You know, it's time for a coffee here in Bolivia. We have a wonderful day, a sunny day. Hopefully it's going to rain soon for the fires to stop. And that's the end of the video. I just uh, want to tell you once more, thanks uh, to everybody. And thanks for following this conversation, this call. And uh, yeah, what, whatever thing uh, we, can, we can answer, we can help you to understand much better about the reality here. We are more than happy to do. So I just want to do a finished video all together. So, here, 
So we are here, Maria. Thank you. Thank you, Luis. Thank you, Jorge. Gracias, gracias. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks to everybody.